Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. So, you've heard the hype about Linux, right? It's the open source, super customizable, and crazy secure operating system that's going to change your digital life forever. Well, hold on to your horses for a second. While Linux is a fantastic operating system with a ton of advantages, there are some aspects of it that get way more praise than they deserve. In this video, we're diving deep into eight overrated Linux features that everyone seems to rave about, but maybe, just maybe, shouldn't. Get ready to have your mind blown, and possibly some Linux myths busted. Alright, let's talk about customization. It's one of the most celebrated features of Linux, and for good reason. Yeah, yeah, Linux lets you tweak every little thing from the icons on your desktop to the behavior of your system processes. You can change your desktop environment, adjust kernel parameters, and even script your own solutions for unique problems. You can make it look like a Windows 95 clone or a futuristic holographic interface. The possibilities are endless. But here's the thing. Do you really need to? Is all that customization truly necessary for your daily tasks? For most users, the default settings are more than enough. They provide a stable, efficient, and aesthetically pleasing environment. In fact, spending hours upon hours trying to get your desktop to look like a scene out of Tron can actually be a huge time sink. Time that could be better spent on productive tasks. And let's be honest, some of those custom Linux setups out there are downright hideous. A cluttered and chaotic desktop can be more of a distraction than a help. Plus, all that tinkering can sometimes lead to instability issues. Custom scripts and tweaks can introduce bugs and errors. Remember that time you messed with your Zorg configuration and ended up with a black screen of death? Yeah, not fun. Troubleshooting those issues can be a nightmare. So, while the ability to customize is cool, it's not always a good thing, especially for beginners. It can be overwhelming and lead to more problems than it solves. Sometimes it's best to just keep it simple, folks. A clean, straightforward setup can be more efficient and less stressful. Linux is often touted as the most secure operating system out there. How many times have you heard that one? It's almost become a mantra in the tech community. Look, it's true that Linux has a good security track record. Its architecture and design make it less susceptible to certain types of attacks. Its open source nature means more eyes are looking for vulnerabilities. This community-driven approach helps in identifying and fixing issues quickly. But let's not kid ourselves. Linux isn't some impenetrable fortress. No system is. Every piece of software has vulnerabilities, and Linux is no exception. New exploits are discovered all the time. Plus, a lot of Linux's security relies on users actually knowing what they're doing. It's not just about the system, it's about the user, too. If you're downloading shady packages from untrusted sources or running your system as root all the time, you're basically asking to get hacked. User behavior plays a huge role in security. And let's not forget about the importance of keeping your system updated. Regular updates are crucial. Just like any other operating system, Linux needs regular security patches to stay ahead of the bad guys. These patches fix known vulnerabilities and improve overall security. So, while Linux is generally secure, don't let that lull you into a false sense of security. Complacency can be dangerous. You still need to be smart and proactive to keep your data safe. Always stay vigilant and follow best practices to maintain a secure environment. Ah, open source, the philosophy that software should be free as in beer and free as in speech. It's a beautiful idea, and it's led to some amazing software projects. From the Linux operating system to the Apache web server, open source has revolutionized the tech world. But let's not pretend that open source doesn't have its downsides. One of the biggest drawbacks is the lack of consistent professional support. Sure, there are tons of online forums and communities where you can get help, but the quality of that help can be, shall we say, variable. Sometimes you'll get lucky and find a helpful expert who can solve your problem in a jiffy. Other times you'll be stuck sifting through pages of forum posts from people who seem to be just as clueless as you are. This inconsistency can be frustrating, especially when you're on a tight deadline or dealing with a critical issue. And if you're running Linux in a business environment, that lack of reliable support can be a real deal breaker. Businesses often need immediate dependable solutions, and the open source model doesn't always provide that. So while open source is great in theory, it's important to be aware of the potential downsides before you go all in. Weigh the pros and cons carefully and consider your specific needs and resources. Open source can be a powerful tool, 
but it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. Chapter 4. Package Management, a Double-Edged Sword One of the things Linux users love to brag about is package management. It's so much easier than using those clunky installers on other operating systems, they say. And you know what? They're not wrong. Package managers like apt, yum, and pacman make installing, updating, and removing software a breeze. But here's the catch. The world of Linux package management can be a confusing and fragmented mess. First, you've got different package formats like .deb, RPM, and tar.gz, each with its own quirks. Then you've got different repositories, which are basically online collections of software packages. And of course, not all repositories are created equal. Some are well-maintained and trustworthy, while others are about as shady as that guy selling genuine Rolex watches out of a trench coat. So, while package management is generally a good thing, it's not without its complexities and potential pitfalls. Chapter 5. Community Support, A Mixed Bag The Linux community is often praised for its helpfulness and willingness to share knowledge. And it's true, there are some incredibly knowledgeable and passionate people in the Linux world who are always happy to lend a helping hand. But, let's be real, the quality of community support can vary wildly. Sometimes you'll stumble upon a forum thread where someone has already answered your question in a clear, concise, and helpful way. Other times, you'll be met with a wall of technical jargon, condescending replies, and unhelpful suggestions to RTFM, read the freaking manual. And let's not forget about the infamous Linux elitists who seem to take a perverse pleasure in making newbies feel stupid. So, while the Linux community can be a great resource, it's important to go in with your eyes open and a healthy dose of skepticism. Linux is known for being lightweight and performant, especially compared to resource-hungry operating systems like Windows. And it's true you can often squeeze more performance out of older hardware by installing a lightweight Linux distribution. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Linux isn't always the best choice for performance, especially when it comes to gaming or certain professional applications. While the gaming scene on Linux has improved significantly in recent years, thanks in part to initiatives like Proton and Steam Play, the fact remains that many AAA games are still primarily developed for Windows, and if you're a professional video editor, graphic designer, or musician, you might find that the software you rely on simply runs better on other operating systems. So while Linux can be a great choice for performance, it's not a magic bullet. One of the biggest advantages of Linux is its broad hardware compatibility. Unlike Windows, which often requires specific drivers for every piece of hardware you plug in, Linux often just works. This is especially true for common hardware like keyboards, mice, and printers. But don't let that fool you into thinking that Linux is immune to hardware compatibility issues. When it comes to more specialized hardware like graphics cards, sound cards, and Wi-Fi adapters, you might run into some roadblocks. While open-source drivers have come a long way, they don't always offer the same level of performance or functionality as proprietary drivers. And if you're unlucky enough to have a piece of hardware that only has drivers for Windows, well, you might be out of luck. So, while Linux is generally good with hardware, it's not a perfect world. One of the biggest selling points of Linux is that it's free. No need to shell out hundreds of dollars for a Windows license. And it's true, you can download and install most Linux distributions without spending a dime. But let's not forget that there's a hidden cost to using Linux your time. Setting up and configuring Linux can be a time-consuming process, especially for beginners. You might need to spend hours troubleshooting hardware issues, learning how to use the command line or searching for the right software packages. And if you're not comfortable tinkering with your operating system, those hours can quickly add up. So, while Linux is free in terms of upfront cost, it's important to factor in the potential cost of your time and effort. So there you have it. Eight overrated Linux features that might not be all they're cracked up to be, despite the hype. Now before you grab your pitchforks and torches and head to the comment section to defend the honor of Linux, let me be clear, I'm not saying Linux is bad at all. In fact, I think it's a fantastic operating system with a lot to offer to its users. But like anything else in life, it has its pros and cons. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comments which Linux feature you think is the most overrated or underrated. See you in the next video. Take care.